Welcome to the PSR YouTube channel. Hey, I love YouTube. YouTube's awesome. It's awesome. You should become a YouTube creator. This video will get monetized. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're having lots of family fun now. Oh, yeah. None of these are real guns now. Oh, yeah. Also got a Patreon. The link is in the description. Got some merch too. Yeah, you know you wanna get some. Broke the algorithm enough for today. The video starts in three, two, one. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of PSR. Today we got a very special upper receiver that is kind of a little bit taken from the Germans, but it's American made. And we got an American made lower as well. And what is that lower? Well, that is the SL15, the super lower from Hoffman Tactical. This is an additively manufactured lower made with Polymaker PLA, Polylite PLA Pro to be specific so i haven't done a full review of this lower yet so i figured we'd put some shots through it and we'd try out this upper which is a bearing delay upper yes not roller delay bearing delay something completely kind of new however taking an older concept utilized by the germans and putting it into this upper receiver that we have here it is made by mean arms so they send me this out to give it a shot and see how I like it. We're gonna shoot it today, see how we like it, see how this lower performs here from Hoffman Tactical. This upper receiver fits on pretty much any mil spec lower receiver, and you don't even need a nine millimeter dedicated lower receiver. This is nine millimeter, but you're using the endo mags. So these are nine millimeter conversion mags that are meant to go inside a P mag. And it's got an ejector here. The extractor is inside this upper. This is a seven and a half inch barrel. We're gonna get into a little bit more of the details of this upper in a sec. But first, I gotta thank the channel sponsor for PSR. Yes, the new channel sponsor, and we love to hear it. Who is that? That is Aves Engineering. Aves Engineering, also known as Aves Rails, specializes in rail kits for all of your favorite DIY designs. We're talking lots of stuff for Glocks, and they got a ton of Mac stuff, which I would absolutely never ever check out. And I would never use the code PSR for 10% off your entire order from Aves. Aves and I are gonna be doing some collab videos coming up in the next few months. And I am really excited to have them on as the channel sponsor because they bring a lot of fun to the equation. So thank you to Aves for sponsoring this channel. All right, so a little bit more information about this upper. So as I said before, it is a bearing delay upper. So theoretically, the recoil impulse should be much less than a blowback nine millimeter standard PCC AR build. So we're actually gonna put this up against one of my nine millimeter uh, PCCs that's just blowback. It's an AR9 simple design. Go side by side to see if the recoil impulse is significantly less. Also, it should be noted that this handguard from Mean Arms is actually polymer. It's got a metal insert in here as well for reinforcement, but this feels very strong. It's injection molded. We got a nice break on the front here, and we're gonna see if that helps with the recoil as well. One of the things I noticed right away is just the quality of this thing. It's super high quality. The upper is just a slab side upper, but it's got some nice, you know, relief cuts here, and it just looks really nice, feels really nice. This is an aluminum upper, while this is the polymer handguard. Another thing I noticed is Mean Arms does a great job of including a really detailed 
user manual with this upper. It's very detailed and does a great job of explaining how this thing works and how you can get the most out of it. It also comes with two additional lifters, which you can swap out in the bolt here, which will help you tune the recoil impulse based on the type of ammo you're using. These uppers come in a few different lengths. I believe they come in four and a half, seven and a half, which is what this is, 11 and 14 and a half, and I think 16. As far as how this thing's configured, like I said, this lower was squirted in Polymaker Polylite PLA Pro. It's great filament. I do have a link for that down in the description. This is an SB Tactical brace. For an optic, we got a lead and steel LP1 right here. On the front, we have a goon beam. This is their rifle light. It's got an Arasaka forward mount there uh, with a little button to control it. And then we have a nice cable management little band by Strike Industries, as well as their angled grip on the front. It's nice, the C-clamp chads are just like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfect grip there. I really like it, it feels good. We're gonna do a little shooting with it, see how it feels initially, and then we're gonna compare it against our AR9 standard blowback, see if we get any different results as far as the recoil impulse. Let's do it. Guys, before we get into the rest of the video, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, and that is arms list. Have you guys ever wanted to either buy or sell a gun on the used marketplace and maybe your FFL didn't have what you wanted? You can think of arms list as kind of like a Craigslist or Facebook marketplace for guns, accessories, optics, things like that. With over 95,000 listings, you're surely going to find something you're interested in on arms list. You can look locally or you can look through their dealer network, which spans nationwide. If you're interested in signing up for arms list i would never ever ever use the code psr for a first month fee of 99 cents just 99 cents for the first month if you don't like it you can cancel it anytime and i want to give a big thanks to arms list for sponsoring today's video all righty here we are first shots with the mean arms bearing delay no magnets hans just bearings y'all all right let's see how it feels yeah, bring this out just a little bit all right Oh, wow. One shot, and I can already tell that recoil is much less than a blowback nine. You see how this, this is not moving, basically. Woo! Oh, man. And you get bolt hold open, which is really nice with these endo mags. It should probably close. Oh, no, it stays open. Nice. Sweet, dude. Oh, let's shoot this some more. So you got your bolt hold open. I'm gonna put the mag in, drop it, just like a normal AR, it's perfect. All right, another couple of shots here. Man, it's just so, so flat. Try this again. Wow, okay. Dang. Whoo, sent that one right over the camera. Oh man, wow, well, I've shot this lower before, so this is very solid. I've had this for a long time, it's running great. The bearing delay upper, man. I'm very impressed with how flat shooting it is. It does have a break on the front. You know, it'd be interesting to see if it had just a flash hider, you know, if, if it would be more, but it feels so flat, like, just look at this. Like, it feels like it barely moves. Very impressive. Nice. All right, let's try to see if we can do a little mag dump here. See if I can land all the shots on target and uh, keep it nice and flat here. Woo! Hold, hold open. Wow. The mean arms bearing delay is working right out of the box. Mind you, on this squirted lower as well. And the lower is holding up awesome. The one thing about the Hoffman Tactical design that's nice is it's got this front, you know, strength section here, uh, which includes these screws that go from both sides. These tabs help with the strength because that's kind of a failure point of some of the lowers, as well as the old hose clamp, which is nice. Hoffman Tactical swears by the hose clamp. I honestly swear by the hose clamp too. I think we should do a little push up test at the end of this video just to see if this hose clamp holds. But man, this upper is impressive, I must say. One of the tests I like to run to just see how much muzzle climb, recoil impulse there is, is just shooting it with uh, two hands like a pistol. And so we'll see how much the muzzle climbs when we shoot it with this bearing delay upper. Two hands like a pistol. 
Oh, you see how little that moves up? If I was shooting a blowback nine, it would be coming up quite a bit more, I believe. Now you just give it a little bit of a... Yeah. Yeah, bud. Whew. I like this length too, as far as just a, you know, a PCC goes. Yeah, 16 inch, it's not gonna be utilizing that length. So I just like the seven and a half as like a, a nice midpoint there. It'd be cool to put a can on this too, I think, with the bearing delay. Pretty sweet shooter, indeed. So one thing I didn't really realize when Mean sent this to me was that their company has been operating for almost 50 years doing injection molding. So they do a lot of injection molding for the industry. That's kind of their bread and butter. And so they're implementing that here with the handguard for a couple of different reasons. And one being, it's actually a lot less hot than an aluminum handguard when you rapid fire, put a bunch of rounds through it. So I think that is a big bonus with this handguard as well as it being a bit lighter than an aluminum one. When you look at this whole gun, it's actually fascinating because the lower is polymer, the handguard's polymer, magazine's polymer, grip's polymer, the brace is polymer. The only thing that's really metal is the barrel, obviously, this bolt and the uh, buffer tube and some of the hardware on it. Little fun little fact. Here we have this normal AR9. I don't have an optic on it, unfortunately, but this is just your traditional AR9 blowback. I think it's a, it's a pretty short barrel. It's like three inches. We're gonna see how this feels. We're gonna go side to side, see what the recoil impulse is like. We'll shoot it like a pistol like we did before, and then we'll shoulder it just to see, you know, what we get for a feeling. This is a Glock mag lower. Uh, let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna go back to back. Here we go with the small AR9. Shooting it like a pistol. Okay. Yeah. Now, the mean arm's one-handed. Oh yeah. Granted, this does have a little bit more weight on the front end, uh, but man, a lot less snappy. Yeah, oh. You see what's happening to my cheek right now? Oh. Let's try the mean arms. Just nothing, it's like nothing. Versus, and I'll try this one more time. Oh yeah, it's like I'm getting slapped in the face every time that bull comes back. Clear difference. All right, so after looking at some of the slow motion, one thing that surprised me and just kind of impressed me was how consistent the ejection pattern is. I don't know if that's partially to do with the extractor that they've got in here, that's the spring, or it also has to do maybe with the endo mag and the ejector on the endo mag, but very, very consistent ejection, which you don't always see in the blowback style AR9 uppers. Next, I wanna dual wield these one-handed AR9s akimbo, if you may. Compare both recoils side to side, just holding one hand in the other. We'll see how it looks. Just for the fuck of it, eh? Just for the shit of it, eh? For shits and giggles, eh? Why not? Just trying not to hit the camera, I guess. Okay, and we're out on both. Wow, you can definitely notice that we tell the difference between this blowback and this guy. May have partially to do with the barrel, just a little bit, but the weight of that. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention, this only requires your normal carbine buffer spring and buffer. So you don't have to put any special buffers in here. It's just the normal weight of the buffer for a normal AR. And that's why it feels more similar to like a 5.56 five, upper because you don't have that massive, big old, you know, <laughs> buffer going back and forth, which is usually heavier in a nine millimeter. Oh, hello, we are going to the future because I've brought this MP5 out. I know I'm wearing the CCE, uh, the French, the French, Camouflage, but um, we are going to try this MP5, the roller delay against the bearing delay to see how the difference is, yeah? <laughs> Slap! All right. Interesting. It's 
easier to do follow-up shots with this gun because of the trigger. It is quite a bit of a difference getting used to it. You can see after I shot the MP5, I like brought my finger almost too far forward for the reset on the main arms just because it's an AR fire controller, but so much crisper, so much better. And I think because of the trigger itself, I feel like it's just a better feeling experience even though the MP5 might have just a tiny bit softer felt recoil. I'm gonna take three more on the mean arms and then three more on the MP5 just to get another impression here. All right, one after the other here. They're super similar. As I said, it's just the trigger. This trigger sucks balls. And um, if you've shot MP5s, you know that. The AR trigger is far and away superior. All right, I say we do the rest of the mag here. Just mag dump it. Interesting. All right, so here we go with our squirted Hoffman SL15, the super lower. Just PLA, Polymaker. We're gonna see how it does. It does have the hose clamp in there. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this injection molded rail holds up as well. The main thing that's hard about this is not necessarily the push-ups, but it's the balance, keeping the balance here, especially with this brace on here. So I'm gonna try my best. Let's see if we can do 25 here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's see if our uh, buffer makes it all the way back. We don't get any jamming up here. Just fine. And like I said, I've had this lower for like months. I put a lot of rounds through it. So good testament to the strength of Hoffman's designs. All right, so final thoughts on the Mean Arms Bearing Delay 9 millimeter upper receiver. It is a unique product. Nothing else quite like it on the market, honestly. If you want the recoil impulse of an MP5 and that bearing delay, which is nice when it's suppressed, I'm sure, and you want the fine tuning with these lifters that they include, this might be for you. You can just put this upper receiver on, not change anything about the lower, and use these endo mags, and you got yourself a little MP5 style AR9. Resilient Suppressors has sent me their RS9 can, which I wanna throw on here, because I think it's a perfect host for that. I'm just in the middle of waiting for the paperwork to go through. I'm pretty much a giant noob when it comes to suppressors, so, any of you who have experience with them, leave me a comment, tell me what device I should use on this to go with the Resilient Suppressors RS9. The price point is one thing that may be a little bit tough for people to swallow. A lot of R&D went into this, so I'm sure they're recouping their costs on that with the price of this thing. This does retail for around 1400 bucks. This particular one, I think it's 1425 or 1450. This is not like a PSA nine millimeter upper. This thing is its own beast. It's got its own parts, very different than anything standard blowback. This is bearing delay. And so you're paying for that feature and the R&D that went into it. Yes, you can get a roller delayed MP5 clone for about that much, but you won't get all of the familiarity with the AR controls. You won't be able to slap it, but you also get that last round bolt hold open, which I think is a pretty important feature on a modern gun like this one. As far as the Hoffman SL15 AR lower goes, it's a great candidate to use with this upper because it's lightweight, polymer, fits the vibe. You could actually print the double ribbed because this does not have a forward assist. So you could print double ribbed for her pleasure, of course. We did the push-ups on it. It cycles fine does great. We just put one in the chamber and that's all I really got to say about it. So thank you to Mean Arms for sending this over and thank you for watching the video. I will see you on the next one. Love you. Bye bye.
with over 95,000 listings on the site, I'm sure there's a way. Mm.